My name is Kara Zorel. 24 years ago, my planet was in peril. My cousin, Kalel, was sent to a planet called Earth. You may know his story, but you don't know mine. On Earth, you will do extraordinary things. Until now. You must go. I love you, Kara. Correspondence dinner. I need to make sure Ms. Grant doesn't end up next to Bill O'Reilly again. Hey, um, I was wondering if maybe you want to, I don't know, go see a movie tonight. I can't. I I'm sorry. I have a date. Date? Hmm? Fun. Dating is fun. She's here. How do you do that? The only reason I bought this building was because it had a private elevator. That way, I don't have to get soaked in cheap cologne every morning getting to my office, find out who used it, have them reprimanded or bathed. I don't care which. Here's your latte. Hot. Oh, that'll be new and different. Hello? I've seen this picture. You won a Pulitzer. Yeah, only because it was the first real shot of a little secret. He actually posed for that. Guess he likes me. Oh, my God. You're Jimmy Olsen, the photographer from the Daily Planet. James Olsen. I never got your name. Gosh, I, <laughs> I, yeah, Kara. Wow. I have a conference in Geneva, and I need to be on a plane in two hours. I have a blind date in a half an hour, and I need you to help me pick out what to wear. Why do you do this to me? Because I'm your sister, and you love me. I feel like I'm not living up to my potential. I just fetch layouts and coffee. You always wanted to be normal. This is what normal looks like. I'm not normal. I can lift a bus, stop a bullet, Alex. I can fly. At least I think I can. By 237, bound for Geneva, is circling the city after an engine failure. Did he say Geneva? yourself you're out there now Kara everyone will know about you and you can't take that back I, I don't want to media magnet Kat Grant of National City's new female hero Supergirl we can't name her that we didn't shouldn't she be called super woman what do you think is so bad about girl I'm a girl and your boss and powerful and rich and hot and smart. So if you perceive Supergirl as anything less than excellent, isn't the real problem you? Kara? I'm going to tell you something about me that for most of my life I've run from it. But last night I embraced who I am and I don't want to stop. Oh my god, you're a lesbian. Oh, Kara, that's why you're not into me. This is this is this is great news. I'm you not Jay. I'm her. The woman who saved the plane. <laughs> okay, right. Carl, what are you doing? Hey! Cora! You're her. Yep. <laughs> I'm not flying around saving people in this thing. Where's my cape? The capes are lame. You can tell your cousin I said so. Actually, never, never do that. <clears throat> so. To be a superhero, you need a crime. There's a car chase on the 112 freeway. I could do a car chase. A cape aids with aerodynamics. I should have thought of that. West National City Bank. Suspects are armed and dangerous. Are you, uh, you sure you're bulletproof? Hope so. All right, the new cape is made from a structured polymer composite. It's much sturdier than... And, uh... <laughs> this one has the S. For super, just like your cousin. It's not an S. It's my family's coat of arms, the House of L. Welcome to the Department of Extra Normal Operations. The 
DEO monitors and protects Earth from extraterrestrial presence. These beings, some of them are powers from your darkest nightmares. I can help you stop them. I don't trust aliens. You want to help? Go back to getting someone's coffee. Kara, it's me. I know what you're thinking, but the world needs you to fly. And so do I. So what do we do now? First things first. You need to change. This is my fight song. I didn't travel 2,000 light years just to be an assistant. People of this city will die. Ah! You have to let me stop it. Make sure you win. wanted me to do this? Why did he just tell me? Because he wanted you to choose it for yourself. Same way he did. Here, from him. It's the blanket he was wrapped in when he was a baby. Apparently, this cape won't shred. Thank you. Now, don't you have a city to protect? You know, up, up, and away? <laughs> Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up? And welcome to my Supergirl trailer breakdown. Uh, this show is looking really cool. I did not expect to see a Supergirl trailer this soon. Um, like, I I woke up uh, after taking a nap legging on Arrow and I seen it. And it, it's, it looks pretty freaking cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the breakdown. So the first thing I noticed is Superman is in the universe. So this isn't going to be connected with the CW-verse, I don't believe, with the uh, Arrow and the Flash. I think I'm just going to call that the Flareoverse. So they can do Superman and not have to come up with an excuse for him never appearing on the Flash and Arrow. Which is alright, I was really hoping that Supergirl was going to connect with the Flash and Arrow, but I guess we still have Titans uh, to hope for. Hopefully they connect. Uh, which would be freaking cool. But yeah, Superman's in the universe. I wonder if he'll actually make a full appearance uh, sometime during the season to like give a pep talk or something near the finale uh, to be like, you can do this, Kara, or something with his Superman voice. I can't do it, Superman voice. I'm from the South. I can't do it. Another thing I noticed is she looks a lot like Felicity. I mean, come on, guys. Uh, we can all see that she looks a ton like Felicity when she's in her office outfit or her disguise. I'm not complaining, you know, I, I'm really not complaining so long as she doesn't act like Felicity. But, well, besides the pop song at the end, this is the only thing I don't like about the trailer, or probably the show in general, is Jimmy Olsen. Um, I don't like how they did the character. I, got, I don't care that they didn't make him white. I don't care about that. The thing that I care about is... He, he's not how Jimmy Olsen is in the comics, like, personality-wise. This is, like, a big buff guy who's good at giving pep talks and shit. Jimmy Olsen in the comics um, was a nerdy, red-haired, like, ghost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all you uh, gamers out there and inside people know what I'm saying when I say ghost. Um, so I don't really like that they make him this big buff, um, you know, not shy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, I just I just don't like it and I, I really don't care about the race change that's the thing like they can be white purple black green you know whatever as long as they can act and they portray their character good but I was really expecting like if they were going to go for the race change well since they did uh, they might get like childish Gambino or something like that guy's an actor and he could play a really good you know black Jimmy Olsen it you know, that would be perfect if they were going to go, well, since they did go with the race change, to stay, like, true to the comics, but I guess they didn't. Her saving the plane looked really freaking cool, though, like, the effects on this show, I'll talk about all the action scenes, like, together in a little while, but the effects are looking pretty cool just from her saving the plane. Like, it didn't look too fake at all. You know, it it only looked a little fake because, you know, no one is going to be able to do that in real life. So, of course, everything to do with that stuff looks a little fake. 
But as far as a TV show goes, that looked freaking realistic as crap. That looked almost as realistic as uh, the CGI for when the Flash runs and stuff. That just looked awesome. And it looks like it's going to be following the Flash a little bit. Like, everyone, it looks like a lot of people is going to know who Kara really is. Uh, that guy that she was talking to at the beginning knows possibly a love interest. Uh, her sister knows, Hank Kingshaw knows, and he's supposed to be like a villain or something in the show. Hank Kingshaw is Cyborg Superman in the comics. They get a race change for him too, which I'm completely okay with because this guy looks freaking awesome. Um, and yeah, it looks like everyone knows her identity. Jimmy knows her identity because he apparently in this universe already works very close with Superman and probably knows that he's Clark, uh, Clark Kent. So... I, I guess a lot of people are going to know who she is. I, I really like the different gallery of costumes that they went through. It's, it really shows that they're not just going to automatically have the best costume. You know, they, they went through flaws. This isn't Team Arrow. Uh, this isn't Team Flash. They don't have a help the help of a lot of scientists to do anything. Uh, they have to make the costume themselves, besides the cape, which was given to her by uh, Superman. Which is freaking cool. I still really like the first costume. I'm just saying. That first costume, I wouldn't mind seeing the entire show, you know. And can we just talk about how amazing the actress looks in the Supergirl costume? I mean, she looks straight up like Supergirl from the comics. You know, her hair isn't as blonde, but that's a fucking nitpick if I've ever heard one. And I said it. Uh, but that's really the only flaw. I remember how many people were, like, hating on the actress, like, saying that she looked like an old, old Supergirl or something like that. Uh, I, I really liked it. I liked it from the beginning. She looks freaking awesome. The only thing that I didn't like, um, and I said this a long time ago in my first, uh, Supergirl first look, uh, is they didn't have a lot of yellow inside the S, which... The S, the costume wasn't made by Superman or wasn't made that by the House of L. It was made by them, like Kara and uh, the possible love interest. So, of course, it's going to be a custom design. And now that I know that, I'm cool with it. You know, it looks awesome and she looks great in it. Uh, I just want to know where the hangers are now for her in the costume because she looks awesome. And on to the next thing. I think that Hank Kingshaw is going to be an awesome villain. He seems like... He seems like he works for the government, and he's trying to keep the aliens away, it, it, even her. Like, he wants her to go back to her desk job when she's talking to him. But it seems like he's going to be, like, kind of a mean Harrison Wells, sort of, not really. He's got that vibe. It's going to be like a Manga Waller to Oliver. Uh, he's going to be there. He's going to be a big figure. Um, he might have to, she might have to take orders from him sometimes, but eventually he's going to be a villain. He's going to become what he's trying to go against, and I just think the guy that they cast looks badass and looks perfect. If he ever becomes Cyborg Superman, he's going to look really cool as him. Also, they did the thing with the shirt, with pulling the shirt open to show the logo and stuff like they did in the old Supermans, and even in that one Spider-Man movie, uh, the first one, I think, or the second one. I hope it wasn't the third one because the third one sucked. But anyways, yeah, they, they did that and it was freaking awesome. To talk about the action scenes all together, they all look great. The truck scene, uh, the fighting scene when she's getting shot at, and of course the plane scene. And there was probably another one or something. Her flying looks freaking sweet. It all looks great, guys. This show really, really looks good. This was hit and miss at first for me, but then I went back and looked at it. Like, I just, I watched it when I first woke up, so I was like, meh, whatever. I want to go back to sleep. But now that I went through it and looked at it and, you know, did my breakdown on it, I'm really pumped for it. It actually looks good. And besides the teen pop song at the end, I could went without hearing that shit. But, yeah, other than that, it looks really cool. And I am hyped for it. I'll definitely be doing videos on it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about Jimmy, uh, Superman being in the universe, the costumes, and how they're doing Hank Kingshaw. Whatever you want to let me know about. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.